1980, 8.32 a.m. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake rocks Mount St. Helens in southwestern Washington state and triggers the deadliest volcanic eruption in U.S. history. In minutes, a mushroom-shaped cloud shoots up 10 miles high. Below the cloud, superheated flows of rock and debris surge out of the crater, racing over the land, incinerating everything in its path. No one is prepared for the chaos. Everything within a 230 square mile area of the mountain is obliterated. 57 people are killed and thousands of acres destroyed. By midday, the eruption ends, leaving a once serene and beautiful region a wasteland. A graceful cone-shaped volcano is now a blasted stump. And a nation is in awe of nature's destructive power. But there's one volcano in the U.S. with the potential to wreak devastation on a far greater scale. It's located 575 miles away from Mount St. Helens in the northwest corner of Wyoming. For over a century, tens of millions of visitors have marveled at Yellowstone's breathtaking scenery. But beneath this spectacular beauty lies a ticking time bomb. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth. Scientists call it a supervolcano because of the size of past explosions. The criteria that we use to decide whether an eruption is a super eruption is essentially the volume of the eruption. And that is, if an eruption has more than 240 cubic miles or 1,000 cubic kilometers of pumice and ash that came out in that one event, then it's a super eruption. There have been three super eruptions at Yellowstone over the last 2.1 million years. The last big one was 640,000 years ago. The one before that, 666,000 years prior. Which leaves many to wonder, what's next? There have been signs that something unusual may be happening in the park. In 2004, five bison were found dead in a geyser basin. They weren't in a typical death pose, kind of like a cat that's curled up. It looks like they've just fallen over. We think it was just a very cold night, very still night. The geothermal gases accumulated, and the bison just basically dropped where they stood. The gases were identified as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, two components of what's found just below the ground at Yellowstone, boiling hot magma. The Yellowstone supervolcano sits on what geologists call a hotspot. Unlike other volcanoes in the world, Yellowstone isn't cone-shaped with a crater at the top. Instead, it's a caldera, a large depression in the Earth 50 miles long by 30 miles wide, formed during its last major eruption. You can be standing on the caldera without realizing you're standing in the crater of an active volcano, one that's erupted over 25 times since its last superblast. Yellowstone is most famous for its, its very large super eruptions. However, there have been a series of other eruptions. These are smaller than the super eruptions, but they're still enormous events, 50 or so times as big as Mount St. Helens. Given its past, the next Yellowstone super eruption could be the largest natural disaster in recorded history. In our lifetime, we have nothing to compare it with. <laughs> 